What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We are back inside of Circus Tower Defense. So we have a brand new update here within the game. Um, now, if you look at top guys, if you come here it says news, they added a new thing called a, it's a news feature. So I guess from now on, once they, um, it's kind of like an update log. Once they, every time they bring out a new update, they will put it in this new news feed right here. Now as you can see here, it says version 1.6. It says a uh, new secret door, reach level 10 to unlock. More secrets to be added soon. Bug fixes, lots of bug fixes. The game should be more stable. Now that is pretty cool. I'm glad they added a bit long because I think it was overdue for one. Now they also did add some other things to you guys. Um, I'm on the Discord here. Um, so apparently the, um, that new area might have some new units, you may not. And uh, like I said, there's a new news button and stuff like that. There is also another code I'm gonna give you guys, which will help you guys out. So if you type in the word secret, Boom, it should give you guys 10 free codes. Also, don't forget to use my code FROSTY. If it's, it should be still available, guys. Use code FROSTY. That gives you another 100 free codes. Let's get into it. Yeah, so you need to be level 10 to access this new area. Uh, but let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and open my Monster Queen uh, Lucky Block. See if I can get it. Guys, let me know if you guys have got Monster Queen or if it's any good. I heard it wasn't good and it wasn't worth it. But I think it'd be kind of cool to have because it looks pretty, looks pretty sick. Uh, so we got 50 coins all right so let's go into the new area like i said reach level 10 level 10 is not really hard to uh get okay and three two one boom here we go restaurant is the looks like what is the new map all right so we're gonna try this new map out guys so we're gonna start and then we'll see what it's all about all right so um, i was hoping they would have added this uh this I had a feeling they was gonna do something with this secret area, but I don't know how long they was gonna add it. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna vote for medium, and we're gonna put down a elephant to start it out. Boom! Alrighty. We're also gonna skip waves as well. All right. So I had to bring out the old elephant plushie because it's 200 to set down, and obviously it's, it's pretty cheap. We're also gonna put another one down once we get enough. We don't have enough. Let's look at this map right here. Uh. So I think they tried did it here. They kind of like windows. It's kind of like you can see off the map, but not really. But like it's it's like it's like your basic every five star restaurant. But it's not bad. I like I like what they done to it. All right, we're gonna put down another elephant plushie, and we should be good. Alrighty, wave cleared. Uh, once we get enough, we would put down a glitch moon. Uh, go ahead and put get ready to put one of these down as well. But yeah, level 10, um, yeah, if you do a couple matches and stuff like that, it's easy, guys. It's really not that hard to even reach this level. It's like I said, level 10 is nothing. Um, alright, all right, number should be good. Uh, boom. I wonder if I can put units on the table. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, level 10 is nothing. It's really nothing to worry about, guys. That's really easy to get to with level 10. Um... I'm not sure. I don't, I don't like to have any XP, like potions but they do have quests uh i know you complete quests and once you complete like the major uh the weekly quest and some of the daily quests i'm pretty sure they do give you uh xp as well so there's that as well some the daily quests ain't hard uh some of the weekly quests are like complete like i don't know like play for so and so hours or so many coins something easy you know not too crazy um all right so I'm gonna put down a glitch moon right there. I wanna get enough. I'll put one right here beside it again. Uh, I didn't bring too. I didn't bring too much. I just brought my uh, rabbit plushie and the dog and the clown. I didn't bring void host this time because well, I think we're only doing medium and like I said, I just wanted to try this map out. I should have did easy for when it took us long, guys. I do apologize. And yeah, but we should be all right though. Put a couple another gl glitched uh, moons down as well. Uh. I should be able to put down another plushie down too as well. Just to help me out, just in case. I do get overrun. But I should be good. These big these big cubes ain't giving us not nearly as much as problems. Okay, now we have four down. Now we should be good. Don't think we're gonna die or anything. Uh, I do have enough to put down a frost dog. I put down a frost dog. Man, I like the frost dog because the frost dog's range is so crazy. So I've had a 20, that's amazing. Alright, uh we'll go ahead and put some more moons down. Yeah, if you don't have the moon, guys, moon is so OP. It's better than obviously regular moon. Gives you 150. I think it, I think moon only gives you 100, but this one gives you 150 more, which is great. Uh, should we put two more down, I believe? Should give us some more. I'll put one right there. Who cares? We should, we should have eight if we do. 
and go ahead and put down another frost I want can. But I'm, I'm gonna upgrade one of my moons though. To get, get some more cash flow going on here. Ideally, I don't think I need to put all eight of them down, really. I mean, we're going to wave 40. I mean, wave 40 really it is, it's not that hard to get to. Look at look how much cash we get, guys. We missed that wave star. That's crazy. All right. I'm going to put down another frost dog. Right here. Just because that range is so crazy. All right. Now we're, we're setting good, pretty good. I will, I might put two plushies at the right here because they're so small and they're easy to boom. Now... I don't know about you guys, but I like the rabbit plushie. They're, the rabbit plushie is OP. I mean, it starts out with 2,000. Uh, I don't know if we're going to cool down. Cool down. Cool down's pretty. Look like it's going crazy, but starting at 2,000, that's crazy. I have Juggler 2 on it. It might be because I have Juggler 2 on it, but yeah, okay, that's, that's understandable. My, <laughs> that's probably why it's doing that, because I have Juggler 2 on it. But yeah, I'm going to put two Jugglers in the. I'm going to put two more rabbit plushies in the back. But actually, I think I've only put one, uh, three down. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'll put another one maybe beside of the other ones. So they're beside each other. Boom. Okay, I'll put it beside each other. I'll upgrade one. Boom. Nope. Oh. Alright, now we're now we're doing good. Now we're now we're cooking. Alright. Yeah, I don't think nobody's gonna pass this now. I'm gonna just go ahead and upgrade the rest of these if I can. While I have the money. But yeah. Um not a bad little, not a little bad little uh, map to have here. It's a restaurant. Um, obviously, you can tell it's tables, stuff like that. Uh, I feel like they added, uh, I could have added more like a lot of like objects in here and stuff like that. It looks, I mean, it's big. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like they could add more, uh, more, a lot more objects. Maybe more like stuff on the wall. I see what they did. I see what they did. Try the window vibes. Uh, it looks like the jungle when you look outside, though. I get the. Clearly, I know that's it is supposed to be a window, but that looks like a jungle theme just in the back. I don't, I don't know really the whole concept with that, but yeah, they could add a lot more objects. But overall, I, I like it though. It's something new, something we probably needed. We needed a new map because I think everybody got tired of the old different map we already had. But good to see even everybody else that added this. So, all right, so we are looking pretty good. So let's get a lot more money. I'm not gonna put. I'm not, I'm not gonna even put any down any uh any uh. What do you call it? Clowns? I don't know why I need to put any clowns down. Uh, that said, it's because I don't think we're going to be that bad. Because we just need, what, 35, 25 more waves. I mean, we could if you wanted to. I mean, we'll just put one right here and just maybe one right here. Just in case they get crazy. Now, I, did, now I forgot which uh, upgrade I do have on him. I have Juggler 3, so... Hopefully that Juggler 3 helps us with the cooldown a lot on him as well. Oh yeah, so hopefully, cause um, his cooldown was kind of was kind of low, so hopefully that cooldown would help him out. And the lower the cooldown goes, the more clowns gonna be OP, in my opinion. Now, now intended, they did have to make clowns uh, cooldown a little high, cause the amount of damage he does put out. But all in all, though, clowns are good. So I mean, people say clowns not even the best out there. You know what I'm saying? As much as, as his thing is, people not say clowns not even the best. I beg to differ though. All right, so we're we're good. We're, we're looking we're looking good. We're we're not too crazy. We're not you know in trouble. Um, I'll, I'll upgrade uh, Mr. Elephant here. Uh, I'll upgrade him. I'll upgrade the other ones when I get enough money. Uh, now we have eight thousand. Our moons are giving us a lot a lot of money. Boom. He maxed out twenty five hundred. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade all my like no upgrade. I'm not, not yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna use the upgrade machine on all my uh um units. Maybe just the ones I currently use or the ones I feel like I need to use. Like obviously clown, void host. I might put one on rabbit, which I already have the juggler, but I think I can get a better one. Um, stuff like that, you know. Maybe frost dog. All right, so we'll look. We're looking good. We should be able to upgrade the rest of our actual glitch moons now and max them out completely. Yeah, see, with Moon, it take it, the max out for him is two thousand uh, is twelve fifty, but his max out is two thousand, which we should have enough though. Yeah, we're gonna have enough to upgrade all these, I think. Boom. Yeah, we're at thirty five. We're at thirty four. We're at thirty four thousand, so we're gonna have enough for everything. So twenty five hundred at each. So we get 25 at each wave. What is that? Like around 37,000 we get? I'm not sure. <clears throat> the basic math on there, but we do get a lot. We have, to, we have eight of the uh, 
Oh, wrong thing. We have eight of the glitch moon, so that's a lot. All right, so we're looking good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my rabbit plushies. Look at that, look at that cooldown on that rabbit plushie. 8,000? Oh, yeah. That that, moon, that moon, big moon didn't have a chance. See you later, Mr. Mm, big Moon. All right, going to finally upgrade this. Uh, let's, come fully, uh, let's fully max out our, uh, all of our rest of our uh, units. See, I like Frosto just because his range. It's sometimes it's good to have range over that. And plus, his, his cooldown is 0.2 and does 2,600 damage. You can't really bet against that, guys. I really can't. I'm going to be honest. Uh, okay, this Frost Dog. We, we probably have enough to max out our uh, actual uh, Clown as well. Now, Juggler is good on Clown, but I want to get the, the other one too, which is, I think, Acrobat. No, not Acrobat, but Acrobat. That does, I think, a 25% cooldown on your towers I like, I like to have. So, 8.3 cooldown. It's, it, it is really a lot. But once you have a lot of the clowns down, I don't seem like a lot. But don't need to put anything else down because we have two clowns. Actually, we'll just make a big circle right here. Don't. This is overkill, but we're just gonna do it just to put four down. Nothing's real. I know nothing's gonna get really get bias here at all. But I just wanna put it down just to put it down. Max them up. Yep. All right. So we're, we're good. Oh, it's 30, not 40. I apologize. Never mind. So, like I said, guys, 30. Wait, that was easy. Um, but I do love, uh, I do love the concept they did. I'm glad they gave us something pretty good to, to go with there. Uh, like I said, guys, there's a lot going on right now in a certain side of things. Um, like I said, they still have a winter event going on, guys. I try to get a uh, glacial host. I know I've been in pain here. I try, I try to get, I'm not going to use my, uh, my snowflakes, but it's, it's like, you know, what's the point? Um, at this point, you can trade for them now, so I'm not going to use my snowflakes. I mean, yes, I could buy, you know, let's buy, you know, use 5,000 Robux to buy 20,000 snowflakes, but I'm not going to do that, so. Uh, but there's a lot of sales going on. You can, there's a uh, Pomni Jester. She's really good. If you're starting out in this game, she's really good. Not bad for 229 Robux. Then you got sh uh, Chef. Oh, that's sorry, not Chef, but uh, Eye Shape Guy. Um, you do have Plushy. It's not bad for 299 Robux. Get that if you can. Um, obviously, Monster Queen. I think Monster Queen's good. Good for the AOE. Uh, Kenny Monster Queen. If you can trade for it, go for it. But you need luck to get all these things right here. Rubber Ducky, I have that. I did a showcase in it uh, with, with Rubber Ducky. Rubber Ducky's really good. I want to really get Snowman and see how good he really is. But, like I said, uh, when that time comes, I might try to trade for him. Do a showcase on Mr. Snowman. I heard he's really good, too. But like I said, guys, uh, that is what's in the secret door. Uh, unless you need to be level 10. I'm gonna say about quest. It says right here. Uh, see XP 700, and for the dailies you get 100. Like I say, you say beat hard 10 times. You might think that like that's kind of hard to do, but it's really not. If you have the right units, you can actually beat uh, level. Uh, you can uh, beat a uh, hard mode, and you get 700 XP. Uh, like I said, they always reset. This one's always sex, uh, re, uh, sets in a uh, was it a, a week. This one always resets. Probably within 24 hours if it's, it's a daily one. But yeah, that's it for the update, guys. Uh, I'm really, I'm really glad they added the new thing because it gives us a check for new people when they can come out here. There actually is an update log. So look here, this is everything they added so far within the game. This is the very first thing. This is the first thing right here in uh, Search House Defense. So welcome to Search House Defense. Go on, go to one of the map help forms. Teleport in the game. Put units on the map. So it's basically tell you how to play the game and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it's kind of unique how they added the news. So it's good too because it's a, uh, it's an update log. And I feel like they needed an update for a long, an update log for a long time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. And guys, turn on that notification bell. Um, that would do it for this one, guys. Be safe, stay frosty, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.